Hello everyone, today we're out on White Rhyme Ridge, and this hunt is going to be a very interesting hunt. So I'm not sure if I discovered a new strategy of finding trophies and rares, or if it's just some random luck, but another time I was hunting for another species, and I found something else. So let me just start by showing you what happened in the beginning of the hunt. A lot of you guys said that you wanted me to go hunt for a trophy bull moose. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go try and find a trophy bull moose. Now, we have the 9.3 rifle with us. And if we see anything that's a trophy, 200 plus, we'll probably use the camel pulser with tracer arrows. And we also have the recurve carbon if he's even bigger. So, basically, what our plan is... We're starting here early in the morning. It's 6 o'clock. Now, I know this is a really good area down here for bulls. Really good area. I've seen some big ones. And I also shot my biggest bull ever, 235, scoring bull moose. And he was on leaderboards for quite some time. Right here. So that's kind of what we want to do is we want to come around, hug tight to this water shoreline here, and come up around the mountain and swing back around and probably hunt up in this area here. Alright guys, well we just found our first bull moose. He's right out there. And he's a, a young one. But he'll definitely work for the first one. We were running around in here and passed up on about probably 10 or 15 cows. I mean there's just cows everywhere. But I don't really feel like just unloading on cows. So, finally we found a bull, and that'll work. There he is right there. Pretty heavy one. So let's get our 9.3 out, and try and put a good hit on him. It's not a very good angle. Another bull. This thing's way out there. All right, we're about to get charged by this cow. So, son of a. All right, so we just got back over to the lake here, right before where we got killed by that moose, and found a pretty good Sitka buck. So he's not a bull, but he might be a good one. So I don't think we should pass up this opportunity to take out this buck. Look at all these cows. They're just everywhere. So yeah, we're going to take out the Sitka buck here. He's uh, about 150 out there. And he's down. I think we're just going to take her out. I think this is actually the one that killed us. So yeah, if she... Oh, she's lucky she stopped behind that hill. If she stopped right there, it might not be her lucky day, let's just say. I think that hurt her pretty good. And she's down. Doesn't feel so good when she's the one that gets killed. Alright, so let's go pick up our buck. And let's head over and grab the cow that we just shot. Because she went down too. And not too far from her should be the original bull that we saw. So let's just mark somewhere over there is where she's at. But this buck might be a pretty decent one. I'm thinking he's going to be probably 90s to 100. And we might have a spot for him in our lodge. Alright, here he is. And he scores 101.2. So that's definitely a pretty big sick of buck. I think my biggest one is like, yeah, like 103 or something like that. So... If we can find a spot for him on this wall, we're definitely going to put him there. Either that or we're going to keep him for now. I'll put him on the wall for now and probably take him down and put the big muley back for now. Um, and then eventually I'm going to get a new lodge. Then we'll be able to put him up in a different lodge. But for now, that's a pretty cool trophy shot. And a good sick of buck. And yeah, let's get him mounted. Yep, yeah, here's some lung blood. 
And our cow is dead with her butt up in there. So she must have died face first. All right, let's pick her up. And we got a double lung hit on her at 142 meters. So that's some pretty good penetration. Now our bull should be just up here. All right, guys, so we just found our bull. He's over here hiding behind this snow mound. And there's the smaller bull right there. Could just barely see his horn sticking up. Here's our bull. And he's down. Nice. And there's the other bull. Smoke that tree. He's hit pretty good. I think we just dropped him. Spine shot. Alright, cool. So we got two bulls down. Did he just get back up? What the? Keeps trying to get back up. Well, I don't think he's going to go anywhere. So let's pick up this one. And we hit double lung liver. Scores 109. And let's pick him up. We got him right in the spine three. He scores 91. All right, we're getting charged. So we just got charged by a bison. Pulled out the 9.3 and he went down. Young male. Got shoulder weight, spine, and intestine. Not sure if you guys could see that or not, but I had to hit the record button as fast as I could while pulling out the 9.3. And unfortunately, we probably scared everything around here. But that's all right, because we're still alive. What's that now? That is a big male. All right, guys, so we want to get a big bison hung up in our trophy room. And we got a monster male coming right at us right now. Now, he probably could score 115 plus. But he might score like 113. Either way, he's going to be a trophy bison. Because he's 110 plus. We have our camel pulsar loaded. So we should be able to put a good hit on him. Let's just check the wind here real quick. Pretty good wind, right actually at us. So, oh, he's right there. Yeah, the wind's pushing a little bit to the right. We're going right through a snowbank. Really good camouflage here. And we'll pop out right here. All right, let's get a range on him. So he's 74 meters away. Pretty broadside, but it's a little bit risky. We don't want to hit shoulder blade or any part of the body whatsoever. Oh, he turned around. You gotta be kidding me. Is he gonna come back? You know what? The wind is blowing right out of him, I believe. Nope, now the wind's blowing hard right. So we actually need to get left of him. So hopefully we can just creep forward a little bit more. And I don't know if we're going to have time to range him. We might just pop up and try and take a shot. We have a pretty good wind. Yeah, that's not happening. Way too thick a brush. Can at least get a range on him though. Eighty-six meters. That's a little bit of a shot. Could hit him with the crossbow. Pretty decent. 
Now what's this? That's that small one. Somehow he got way up ahead of us. I'm not sure how he did that. Got a perfect wind. But he's just too far. Yeah, he's over 100 meters now and we can't, can't even come close to putting a kill shot on him. So we're gonna have to try and get closer. The problem is this little one right here is in our way. What is that anyway? Is that the female? Yeah, that's his female. So the only thing that we can do is get out to this lake out here and try and cut him off. So at least she's going that way now. Which should give us a straight shot right down to this rock. And we should be able to pop out. I'm hoping for like a 50, 60 meter shot. What's this now here? Uh, that is a giant bison. Oh my god. So we thought we had a big one right here. This one's twice as big. 115 to 140 score and he's 780 to 900 kgs and I do not want this stupid cow to charge me so we're gonna have to take a shot on her if she even thinks about charging uh oh yeah she did she's down though we made a good shot but, I'm not really too concerned about her right now. We have two monster bison here. If we could get a good hit on this one here, I'll be so happy. Now, this is actually the big one here, I think. Yeah, it is. Alright, so our bison just called. Now, we're going to mark this big one over here. He's right on my dot. We're going to mark him here, and he was headed this direction. And this other big bison just called right here. So, to get a score of 115 plus, and he has a heavy weight, this could be a monster bison. So, if that's the case, we're going to load our reverse draw crossbow with some tracer arrows. Actually, I believe it's already loaded. Yeah, it is. So, if we can't quite get close enough, to take a shot with the camel pulser, we always have the reverse draw crossbow loaded, so that will definitely do the trick. Now this bison called just up here, and the wind is blowing right at him. So if we can get within range, we can definitely put a hit on him, a kill shot. I mean, oh, right there! Oh my God! Right there! He's about 40 meters away. Yeah, he's 45 meters, guys. Broadside. He's walking a little bit, but we can take that shot. Stop. Come on, stop. And I think we just put a kill shot on him. I don't know. He was walking. Can't see the arrow. Where did we hit him? I thought we hit him. Oh yeah, he's definitely hit. I think we got an intestine hit on him. And that's not really going to kill him very fast, but it should kill him. So I just watched him walk over there. 
he was walking quite a bit. And I didn't want to lead him too much and hit the front shoulder. So basically put it right on the front shoulder and pulled the trigger and definitely hit something solid. I just can't believe he got so close. I was not expecting that at all. And yep, that's definitely some intestine blood. I'm not sure if it's liver or not because we don't have enough we don't have high enough of a tracking level on on the bison but I'm look I'm seeing some pretty good blood here I'm seeing some pretty good blood three sets of really good blood tracks and I'm pretty confident that that was a good hit four sets and five sets I don't know guys I think that was a pretty good hit and I think we might have our first trophy bison and there he is right there is he down he is down that is our first trophy bison hit with the camel pulser and we're gonna hang him up on the wall Man, that was awesome yep that was a liver shot so we might actually be able to go and track the other one down too we still have his track marked over there. But how cool is this? Monster bison. We just took him with a camel pulser. At, I don't even know how far he was. I think he was like 45 meters. Probably. Didn't even get time to range him. If we had ranged him, he probably would have been 50. And he would have been out of range by then. But look at this. He's dead. Dead bison. Let's go get him. Here he is. Can't even see the arrow. It must have buried right through him. Big old bison down. All right. Well, let's pick him up and see what he scores. Liver shot at 57 meters. 122.86. That is a monster bison, and I think that might be my new personal best. Or if not, it's close to it. How crazy was that? So another awesome kill with the camel pulser awesome bison I kind of wish I could see the arrow in him but I think he was quartering so much and this camel pulser has so much penetration that it just buried right through that bison what a giant so let's get it here where we can actually see it decent All right, well, that's a pretty cool shot. You can see the background. He was over by this big lake, and his horns look really good. Can't see his face all that great, but that's all right because he's going to be on the wall soon enough, and we'll be able to look at his face all we want. And let's accept it and get him mounted. I just can't, I can't believe how big that bison was. What a giant bison. I think that might be leaderboards. What a heck of a hunt. But there's still another big bison out there. So we're going to go kill him. Alright, so we just got back over on the other big bison's track. And you can see him standing right there. So, well, there's actually two of them here. But I would imagine one of them is going to be him. And there he is. Yep, there's our big male. And he stopped pretty broadside, too. Of course he started walking. I don't know if we're going to get a shot. We might. No, we're not going to get a shot. There he is there. Of course he's walking right through the thickest part of the map. He's pretty broadside there, but there's absolutely no shot. Even with the 9.3, you couldn't squeeze a bullet in there. Are you kidding me right now? Did this bison just go to sleep? He did. Huh. Reminds me of that feral hog, the albino that I just shot. He just went to sleep. Well, alrighty then. Big bison. Got a moose over here. Tiny bull. So 
So there's our bison right there. Yeah, I feel kind of bad about shooting him with the 9.3 while he's sleeping. I really do. So, I guess we'll use the... Let's use the recurve. Yeah, we'll use the recurve with the tracer. See how that works out. If he runs and we make a bad shot on him, just pull out the 9.3. Let's just get a rough estimate on the range here. Okay, so he's less than 30 already. I would imagine when we pop up over this hill, he's going to be about 22 meters away, if not closer. Yeah, he's about 20 meters right there. I think we could take a shot. Although you can't really see his vitals very good. I have no clue where to aim. Probably hit something good? I don't know. I mean, where are you going to aim? I mean, he's laying on his back. All you could see was his stomach. So, maybe we hit intestines? Hopefully we hit lungs. Did we hit something at least? That looks like lung blood. Yep. Perfect. So I guess we got lucky enough and guessed where his lungs were and hit him. Well, that worked out pretty good. So yeah, let's just watch him. He's probably not going to die right now. There he is standing there. Or is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely laying down. Alright, well let's pick him up. And we got left lung intestine. And he scores 112.6. So he's actually not even a mounter. And he's barely even big enough to take a trophy shot. But he is a big one. And that was pretty cool because we were going to shoot this one. We were seconds from shooting this one with the camel pulser. And had he not spooked, I wouldn't have looked over and spotted the other one that we shot. But yeah, he's still definitely big enough for a trophy shot. Pretty cool. And no, we're not going to mount him. What's this now? Another bison? That's that female. Alright, might as well take her out with a 9.3. Or try to. She's going to walk through here on us, give us a bad shot. Should have been a decent hit. But I don't see her going down. That might have hit her. I don't know. It's so hard to take a shot with the gun through all this brush here. Sure. That is long blood. So we hit her pretty good. But I'm surprised she ran that far. We must have hit one lung. Oh, we got another male bison. Down here by the river. Let's just mark where he's at. Oh, there's our female. She's down. You can see her there. So let's kind of head off towards this other bison. Oh, he's right there. see what he is probably a small one that's a young female that we shot way before huh oh there's the other one and it is a tiny male and a Sitka well, let's finish off this female here from before. That'll definitely put a damper in her lifestyle. And let's take out this one. Hit him. Hit him again. So that female should go down. Surprised she's still running. She's 
she's down. I think there's another bison across the river. If that's not the same one we hit before. Yeah, I think that's the same one we hit. Man, these things are tough. That should help bring him down. No? Oh, she started walking. I think we still hit her, though. Yeah, she just piled up, actually. Yeah, right there. She's down. All right, here's our other bison. And, wow, we hit this thing four times. Body every shot. She scores 103. So, she's not a bad size one. Here's our doe. Oh, we hit her in the stomach at 150. See, she started walking. We would have hit her right in the lung, but... As she walked, we caught the stomach. So let's track down this other bison. And the reason we're going to track him down is because he has a pretty decent weight on him. 610 to 790. And that's kind of the same weight as that um, 112 bison that we just shot. Not even close to the 122 that we shot because I think that 122, he probably weighed... 850 kgs at least maybe 900 kgs I'm not sure look at this pretty decent bull yeah he's a 170s well we finally found a bull moose a decent sized one too this is actually what we came here to look for and that's the funny part we were hunting here for a trophy bull moose and we found an absolute monster bison and we're just getting ready to end the hunt probably gonna hunt one more bison and we just found a pretty solid bull moose he's probably 175 score so let's take him out and that should be a kill shot on him Yep, he's down. Should have been one lung liver shot. Yep, lung blood. Is this his trap? It is. So we kicked him up from a four. I think we kicked him up as soon as we shot at those two bison. Alright, here he is. Not a bad one. Well, let's see what he scores. Hit him in the right lung at 128 meters, and he scores 174. So yeah, we'll definitely take a trophy shot of him. He's close to 180s. Yeah, nothing wrong with that bull at all. Alright, so if you look at the stats here, you can see we shot probably 5 or 6 bison. And one of them was a monster, 122.86. And I can't wait to go look at that one. But we also shot a couple of moose before. So that was definitely a pretty solid hunt. All right, well, let's go head over to the trophy lodge and go take a look at our trophy bison. All right, guys, so we just got to the trophy lodge. And here's our monster bison that we shot. He scores 122.6. And we shot him with a camel pulser. That was a fun hunt. I still can't believe we got so lucky. Never even got a chance to range him. We were just hoping he was about 40 meters on the trot, holding right on the front shoulder, and we made a liver shot, and he didn't go far at all. And right here is our Sitka buck, and he scores 101.2, and he looks really cool too. I really wish I could keep him here, but the problem is there's just not enough room. I eventually want to put that feral hog back there. So for now, I'll leave this buck here and eventually I'm just going to switch him back. But this bison, originally I had him up on top there, but he was just so massive that he didn't look good up there. He basically looked like he was part of the house. He was so big. So we brought him down here and he looks pretty awesome. Couldn't be happier with him. 
Especially the fact that we killed him with a bow. And here he is. Alright guys. Well I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.